You smoke? What you mean? Huh? <laughs> man, look, we all know what's going on, brother, man. Exactly. You smoke crack? No, I'm like, <laughs> like, we all know we're talking about. Hello me we now? all know we're talking about. We're talking about crack. You smoke crack. <laughs> yeah. You know what time it is, man. Give him a quick little introduction, your breakdown. Who is Brandon Vader, and what do you bring to this hip hop game, bro? Hey, I'm just, I'm just a regular dude like everybody else. That's the thing, you know. I'm just out here, just working hard, just like everybody else. Nothing crazy about it. But where are you from, man? Give us some breakdown. We never I got gr- a chance to talk to you the first time <laughs> go around, so we want to get I'm to from know Chino you. Hills. He's on I'm, your head. I'm from Chino Hills. I'm from IE. You okay. know, I, I grew up there my whole life. I was born actually. I was born in Inglewood. Word. Sentinel Hospital. But, right down the street. Yeah. Oh shit. But yeah, I grew up home. in Chino Hills. <laughs> nice. Nice, yeah. Man. Um, now, now, when did you get into the hip hop thing? Now, how long you been um, I mean, actually doing it for real, for real, like the last three years. You okay. know, um, you know, it just be in a lot of us. I yeah. mean, we all like touch some type of rapping. Of course, you know of what I mean? Like, but like really doing it for real last Seriously. three years. Yeah. Okay. What are you working on right now, man? Um, we just finished up uh, High on Life. We just getting that all mixed up and mastered, ready to press that out. Uh, that's going to be released. Uh, April 20th, actually. Wow. Yeah, 420, yeah. 420, huh? 420, high on life. Is that a coincidence? Hmm. Hey. Mm. Uh, kind of. <laughs> talk, talk about how you became a part of the whole movement going on, man, with the high class. High how, class. how did they approach you, or how did you get a part of this, what's going on right now? Oh, uh, no, that was me and Mike D from the beginning. Right. I mean, when we was out in, I had a, I had an apartment out in Rancho, and we just, I mean, we started at my mom's crib, you know, the whole Man, everybody mom's does crib. That. Yeah, of course, at the mom's course. crib, and we just started rapping, and then I got a spot over in Rancho. He started coming in over every day. I was, I was, alleged, I was trying to just be an engineer, you know gotcha, what I mean? I was gotcha. being shy about it, yeah, you know. Yeah, I was yeah. like, you know, I'm just gonna. You look like a behind the scenes motherfucker. Yeah, you yeah, know what exactly. I mean? <laughs> and then like, I was just like, it, I was like, well. I like this. It's yeah. fun. Like yeah. this is what I really want to do, you know. And it's like got my feet wet. And just kept running from there. But I mean, the whole high class thing. We just pretty much just kept making music. Then my brother was like, "Dang, y'all tight. Like, let's keep let's, that shit going. Let's make it for real." Yeah. I'm too on fleek in these Nikes. So I don't give a fleek if you like me. <laughs> my pockets gaining weight. I need a gym pass. Your pockets getting thin like slim fast. You against me? You ain't effing with me. Don't waste your teeth. I did the math. You'll be forgotten like chit chat. So what, what project are you working on right now? Um, we work. Uh, we just finished up High on Life, like I said. But um, I'm working on my individual EP. That's uh, gonna be called No Love Lost. No Love Lost. Yeah. So that's all I'm working on right now. All right. So what's what's the whole meaning behind that? Well, the first mixtape is crazy because it was kind of like first mixtape was called Nothing to Live For because it was sounds suicidal, but it's like real, like. I mean, when you're young, you're not really living a life of purpose. You of just go you out just every day, you hustling, you're doing, doing whatever, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. not caring. And then it was kind of crazy, though, because I was like foreshadowing. So like when the second one came out, it was Everything to Lose. It was like before it happened, I knew it was going to be a year of it was the second year. And it was like it's like if we go back now, you're going to lose everything that you right, had, right. you know. And then now we're in the third year because we made it over the second year. And it's like the no love loss is like. You know, I may not be able to talk to the same people we used to. We may have fell out with a couple people, but it's no love lost. I mean, that's just the way life it is. It is know? what it is. Yeah. Like Michael Donatello in the house with us, man. What, how would you describe Brandon's style? I would definitely say it's, it's more it's more thought out rap. Like he definitely puts a lot of like his thoughts and feelings into his into what he's saying. He doesn't just you know okay, let me just you know spit this out and just write it down. Okay, it sounds nice. He really puts. All 16, 12 bars, he puts his own thought into all of them. So if you can create the perfect track, right, you're on it, but how would you construct this track? Who's on it? Who's engineering the session? Who's producing the beat? And who do you have featuring on it, hook-wise, singing, whatever you want to construct? You construct the perfect fucking track for Brandon Vader. How would you actually construct that? Who's on it? Give us a little break. Kanye's going to produce it. Kanye's producing it. And Wayne and Drake are going to rap on it. And we're going to be all right if we put Drake on every hook. Before 2015 ends, what does Brandon Vader have to do? Uh, it can't end without you doing what? Man. Think, motherfucker. Think. My ass needs to make another project. Because the last one took too long. So you're going to make another project yeah. on top of this one that's yeah. about to come yeah, out? Yeah, because this one is damn near done. Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, 
Brandon Vader, B I A N D E N Vader. Fuck with me, my whole team on fleek. On fleek? These niggas ain't fucking with me. No.